What is wrong when we select only for maximum EPDs in our cattle? The main problem when selecting for maximum EPDs is that it will shift the size of our cattle to larger animals. And this goes against low maintenance, which is so important to achieve profitability on a ranch or farm. We can recognize that there must be a limit to the size of our cows, which can be imposed by your environment, on which they grow and function. When should we stop in our search for larger and larger or higher winning weights, daily gain, yearling weights, or carcasses, size of carcass. We must remember that a very high winning weight requires a lot of milk, and milk production goes against fertility at high stocking rates which are required for profitability. Could it be that the larger frame and late, later maturing cows that are a result of searching for these parameters do not go in your best interest? They do not help you reach profitability? Could the environment play a role in determining which size of cow is more efficient to maximize pounds of wind caps sold per year? We need to ask ourselves, what is my goal? Is it converting forage, your forage produced per year into more pounds of wind caps so you can have higher profits? Or is it to produce the highest winning weight, individual winning weight, that goes against your goals because it will require higher maintenance animals? We need to know how to calculate this and use our common sense in our selection guidelines and breeding decisions to, to have a more efficient animal converting what we produce, forage, to what we sell pounds of wind caps per year. Hint, the metabolic size, which is determined by the hip height, determines conversion efficiency of the total grass and forage produced per ranch per year.